Hi YouTube, Louie here. We are uh, going to take a dive into the Lunar 2 series today in my continuing uh, series to research and update resale prices and the general financial health of some of the popular semi-numismatic series. Uh, today I've spent some time going back into the Lunar 2 one ounce uh, BU coins. Um, there are videos in the past which uh, I will link that I've done in uh, in 2014 and 2015 reviewing uh, mintages and sales prices. Um, for those of you that are new to the Lunar series, there is a Lunar 1 series that commenced in 1999 and then there is a Lunar 2 series that commenced in 2008. This is a review of the Lunar 2 series. Very important when you're looking at the values uh, of coins to not confuse these two series. In some cases, you know, they may the coins may even look very similar, but they are very, very different animals because the mintages of the Lunar 1 series were quite low and the mintages of the Lunar 2 series are currently capped at 300,000. In this particular chart, you see the mintage at, uh, at 300,000 flat for all of the years and the sales prices uh, are higher on the earlier years and uh, drop as we come back to current years. What I'm doing is I am updating um, this information to 2017. Uh, it is uh, June 2017. Here are the prices over here on the upper right quadrant uh, for the Lunar 2 series that I identified as resale prices on eBay in 2015 and 2016. Um, you'll notice that uh, the prices did slip a little bit in 2016, but not too much to worry about. Uh, pretty consistent, all in all. I've taken these prices uh, from the previous video, and I have re-entered them um, in the upper left quadrant and updated them to 2017 sales prices. So what you'll see now is the trend for three years. And uh, for example, uh, in 2008, uh, the mouse uh, uh, in 2015 sold for 55, in 2016 dropped to 49, and in 2017 has uh, dropped a little bit to $45. All right, uh, when I look at eBay, it's really important, guys, if you are judging your financial investment, which semi-numismatics are, um, then it's really important that you look at sold prices. Okay, not asking prices, but sold prices. And on my, on my previous video, I believe I showed you how to click the sold button. Um, and also the current date of the sold prices, because you may have a lot of sales, for example, of this mouse, uh, or you may have sales of, fifty fifty five dollars but if it's a seller that has ten of them listed and uh, hasn't sold one since March you know that that pretty much is not a valid sold price you have to go back to other prices and that's what I've done is look I'm looking for realistic sold prices so currently mouse uh, has dropped to forty five dollars um, the ox, uh, uh, the only place I saw it recently was a German seller, and that has gone up to $66. The tiger from 2010 has uh, stayed in the same ballpark of about $65. The rabbit has increased in price from $40 to $51, consistent with where it was in 2015. The dragon has gone from $44 to $47. The snake has gone from $40 to $42 in 2017. The horn is a very wide range um, from $33 to $43. There are certain sellers that have a number of this particular coin and others and are trying to make the market up around $43. But you will know when somebody comes in with a lower price coin, you know, it, it certainly sells. So this is a range depending on how urgently you need the coin. Uh, same situation exists for the goat. Uh, it was at $27, now at $25 to $34. Uh, 
Um, so, you know, you can still get it for what you could get it for back in 2015 if you're patient. If you're impatient, you may pay more. Again, sellers trying to make the market at a higher level, which, you know, is their right. Uh, the monkey, $27. The rooster, $27. But I saw something very interesting um, that when I looked for the current rooster, um, because I figured they'd be selling at about 22, 23. It looks like the uh, Lunar 2 series at the common retailers like JM Bullion and Apmex looks like the premiums have increased pretty dramatically. And I didn't buy a tube of roosters. Um, as I might have normally done uh, in prior years. So I don't know what they were selling for at the dealers upon first release, but um, I noticed that JM Bullion is selling 2017 roosters for $37, um, and AppMax is selling them for 30. That's a substantial increase in premium from the historical uh, prices. Um, they used to, you know, a spot had gone as low as 2000 uh, as uh, $15 uh, in prior years, but it was not hard to get uh, Lunars under $30 back in the old days, um, maybe even down to $25, maybe even less. Um, so it seems like premiums are increasing on the initial release. Correct me if I'm wrong, some of you that have bought more of these currently, uh, please uh, please chime in, but uh, I was very surprised to see $30 roosters at Apmex and $37 roosters at JM Bullion. Of course they will sell out, okay, as uh, here is the most current mintages from Perth Mint, and this is uh, this has not been updated for a few months. I'm going to ignore 2017, but um, let's see, this is, uh, uh, let's see, these are the mintages. Let's go, that's the kilogram. Uh, let's go to um, 2016, of course. All the one-ounce BUs have sold out, as they have for quite some time. Um, yeah, at 300,000. So uh, that, that has not changed, and that is a very good mintage level, 300,000, considering uh, coins like the kangaroo are selling in the 10 million range. So that makes the Lunars uh, deserving of a higher premium. Do, do they deserve a $13 premium? Like they're currently charging at Atmex? Would you pay a $13 premium on a Lunar? or a $20 premium on a Lunar, something is terribly wrong with the Lunar series, okay? Um, I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe they're not selling many of them, or uh, demand is weak, but um, something has changed in the dynamics of the Lunar 2 series. I did not go back to Lunar 1. Um, the other thing I would say from looking at quite a few resale prices is that uh, demand is uh, pretty weak. Um, it used to be, yeah, I'm going from my gut and my memory here, but I did used to do a lot of research on these, and there used to be lots and lots of sales. And while there continue to be sales uh, of all these coins, you know, it's very spotty and very weak, and uh, certainly not to tubes and tubes being sold anymore. So I think if you are uh, entering into the Lunar series, and if you want to put one together, I suggest you, uh, you wait for Lunar 3 if there will be one. Um, and uh, I, the other thing I would say is uh, do not pay a $13 premium to get into this series um, because, uh, you know, the resale prices are probably going to be in the 25 to 35 range. Why in the world would you buy a $37 coin, hold it for two years, and sell it for 34 Okay, these are all the same mintages. And while the popularity of a coin is judged uh, by the image, and some images are nice, and some images are kind of goofy and weird, um, if the mintage is going to be the same, um, I, I would suggest that uh, you know you, you not jump in um, at a $13 premium. Uh, I know that uh, on the half ounce and the two ounce, 
I believe the, um, let's take a look at the mintages on the, uh, let's go to the 2016 uh, Monkey. The half outs mintage is 233,000. Going back to 15, 2015, uh, it was 188,000. Going back to 2014, it was 249,000. So uh, that is a bunch of half ounce uh, lunars. I do not think I would get into the half ounce uh, any longer. I saw weak, generally weak resale prices of half ounce lunars. Um, and some of them weaker than prior, uh, prior periods. Um, on the two ounce, they seem to be holding their own. Let's take a look at the monkey. The monkey has a 34,000 uh, two ounce. Um, if we go back to the goat, the two ounce had a 61,000. If we go back to the two ounce horse, 112,000. So um, demand is shrinking and mintage is shrinking for the two ounce coins. Um, but I saw the prices holding pretty steady. However, again, a very spotty and low volume market. Um, so uh, you know, I think perfectly fine to continue to work on your one ounce set. The prices are nice and sturdy. Uh, this is the um, this is the cornerstone, you know, the one ounce Lunars is the cornerstone of the Lunar series and uh, love having a set of these. I think they look great. The quality is good. They don't spot. They're holding their resale prices um, and people I think are generally not selling them. They're just collecting them. So I think that's still a good solid investment if you got a good price on it. I would not personally pay more than $25 for a Lunar one ounce BU coin. Um, and would hope to get it cheaper actually. Um, so if they're going up to 30 to 35, the series is dead to me. But um, still, it's a beautiful series, and if you, uh, you want to collect one of each, by all means, um, they look great in a display case. Uh, the other thing I noticed, um, and this is just my opinion, and I know some of you are collecting the privies, um, privy coins are generally a scam. And uh, what I see on the Lunars, I see a lot of the Lion privies circulating. Um, from my experience with some of these uh, privy coins, which is meant to skirt the 300,000, uh, in my opinion, is meant to avoid the 300,000 mintage cap. And they make, may, may make 50,000 of them, and that may sound really like a really good deal to get a 50,000 Lunar coin with a cool privy on it. But the Lion Privy is a European um, set, and uh, they take they bring it over to America to try to um, uh, to make it more unique and make you think you're getting something really rare. Um, it can be very very difficult to sell a Privy coin because the market is smaller. So uh, I no longer buy Privies. Uh, a fifty thousand mintage Privy coin is means nothing to me. I have had the Lions before, um, and uh, they did not, for me, they didn't do as well as the, uh, the regular Perth Mint Bullion. So uh, be very careful if you're buying tubes of Lion Privy Lunars. Um, I think you'll be disappointed down the road, but feel free to chime in. This is, again, just my opinion. I don't, I don't study it daily, and uh, I haven't bought a Privy coin from some time, but I see a lot of you buying the, liner, the Lion Privy Lunars. Um, so I think it's got a cool factor, but I don't know if it's got a financial, if, if it's got legs financially. Uh, so let's see, there's uh, just a more opinion. Um, so uh, what's the, the moral of this review? Lunar 2 1 ounce BU series holding strong, demand weaker, premiums rising. All right, and uh, you can use that information any way you like to. This is Losing Louie signing out. Really look forward to your comments um, because uh, this is a really dear series and I know uh, virtually everybody collects it. So please chime in and see uh, and tell me what you think. Mm -hmm.